Hello, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Welcome, it's so nice to see you again today. I'm going to ask you a question. What are you going to be doing for the rest of your life? And then when I was 12 years old, my daddy took me to the circus, the greatest show on earth. There were clowns and elephants and dancing bears and a beautiful lady in pink tights that flew high above our heads. And as I sat there watching, I had the feeling that something was missing. I don't know what. But when it was over, I, I said to myself, is that all there is to the circus? Is that all there is? If that's all there is, my friends, then let's keep dancing. Today's conversation is going to be about a couple of things. Remember, all of you who are um, 60 or maybe a little bit younger, a little bit older, remember that in 1969, Peggy Lee made very famous that song, Is That All There Is? Well, I absolutely love the song, but at that time in 1969, I had just had my very last baby, and I was more interested in taking care of my family, and I really wasn't interested in thinking about for the rest of my life. But that really has all changed now that I've been older. Is that all there is? Is an open question that on the surface belies the emotional detachment from life that it deeply represents. And it's an emotionally detached state that probably each and every one of us can identify with at least sometime in our lives. A while ago, I met someone who was having a crisis, but it seemed that her life was crisis after crisis. One thing after another was, hap was happening to her. And um, after I got to know her a little bit better, I realized that she had such a constant negative mindset. She was what she thought. Every project that she did, if it didn't work out immediately, she abandoned it. Everything people said to her that was negative, she absorbed it like a sponge. She was so filled with negativity about herself and about her life that she actually became what she thought. Well, after being with her for a while and trying to counsel with her, this is what I told her to do. Please try to start every day with something positive. But during the week, I want you to sit down and make a list of how you feel about yourself and how about you feel about your life. On one side, the positive things that you can think about you and your life and on the other side, the negative things that you can feel about your life. Well, when she started out counseling with me and she came back that first week, her negative side of the sheet was long, really long. All of the bad things she thought about herself, about her life, and about everything that was going to be happening to her. And on the positive side, it was very, very small. After I started working with her and helping her realize that she was exactly, and her life would turn out exactly how she thought, and those negative thoughts were manifesting all of these negative things in her lives. I told her that people have, have um, roadblocks all of the time. That's just what life is. But the difference in someone who has a positive attitude and can get over these crises in their lives is that they don't give up. They don't take it personally. They do a project, they make a decision, and if it doesn't work, they take a deep breath and they say, well, what went wrong? What can I do to make it right? 
And if you have to do that a lot of times, it's okay because that's what happens to all of us. None of us, as I've said in other videos, have a perfect life. Try to find a way to get over that hurdle. Try to find a way to solve that in your life. And as we progress with our counseling together, when she came in, the negative part of her list became shorter and shorter and shorter. And the positive part of her list grew enormously. And the change was very, very simple. All she did was become what she thought. And she was thinking more positive about her life. She was not letting those negative things that happen to each and every one of us that try to disconnect us from reality and from the joy of living. She started to be thinking positive about herself and about her life and believing that she was worthy for success. Her life completely changed. So is that all there is for her became, yes, there is a lot more for me and I can do it. This should resonate with all of us because we are what we think. And this is something that I had to learn along the way. Surely we do not want to go through the rest of our lives feeling negative about ourselves and about events that are around us. A recent study from the University of Cambridge found out that women of all socioeconomic levels found they were happiest and found that if they had a purpose in life, that they felt so much better about being here and about their own lives. So finding purpose in your life is a very important equation to this. Is that all there is? Now, what am I going to be doing for the rest of my life? That has more meaning for me now than I am pushing 84 in a few months than it did way back when. But that's an important question for all of us. What are you going to be doing for the rest of your life? It doesn't matter if you're 18 or 85 or 70. This is something we really have to think about because we truly do not want to be wasting those days, those hours, those minutes of our lives on things that are superficial and are not meaning for us and don't give our lives purpose, do we? What are you going to be doing with the years that are left for you? Now that's the big $64 million question. I certainly don't want to become jaded but is it enough? Am I enough? That's a question that we all have to ask ourselves. I know that I don't have the genius or skill set to change the world, but I know that I want to do the best I can while I am here. I want to feel that this is not all that there is. If that is all there is, if this is all there is, I'm going to take it. I am going to take it. And I wouldn't miss one hour, one day, or a minute in a heartbeat. If this is all there is, I'm in. Thank you so much, and I hope you are too. I hope you are in. But I want you to think about your life and what you'll be doing for the rest of your life and try not to live it detached from today and try to live a life of purpose. Whether it's big or small, you matter. Thank you so much for sharing just a few minutes with me today. I really appreciate your being here with me. I read each and every comment, so please share your thoughts and feelings with me because I do read them. Be good to yourself today. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. Let's all spread the word of love. Pray for peace. 
and I hope that you will come back next Tuesday for my next conversation. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please push that little button so that you will be notified whenever I put up another video. Thank you again. Hope to see you soon.